Now, this does not necessarily mean that we should all go into a panic and run and, and, and they, uh, do protests, but we should start waking up that Hashem is sending us all these text messages. He's sending us these little messages. The one that's in control of the heaven and the earth and everything in between, everything above and below, He's sending us messages. He's not doing this stuff just to annoy us. He's not doing this stuff just so we can get scared for a lecture and then two hours after the lecture we forgot about it. He's not doing it to us so we could all go become psychotic and start thinking that everybody's out there to kill us. Or we could start websites against the administration. He's not doing this for that. He's doing this for us to tell, hey, by the way, buddy, I'm in control of all of it. I could stop it. I could, I could continue it. I can make it worse. I can make it better. Why? Because it's time for you to answer the text. How do you answer the text to Hashem? Connect to me. Start doing things that fulfill your purpose. Stop worrying so much about this world so much. Stop thinking that the, you're in control of your own world. That's what we talked about at the beginning of Shiu. When someone does a, a fast, in essence, they're almost obligating their body to connect with Hashem because there's less material. That's what Hashem is sending us all of these messages. Nonetheless, the time of the end of days that Yaakov Avinu is talking about here in this parasha is the time that we're speaking about today. Is today. It does not necessarily mean that it's going to end tomorrow or next week or even next year. It could happen tomorrow, it could happen now, it could happen 20 years from now. But what we do need to know is that it's happening and that we are running out of time because we don't have a hundred years. We don't have 200 years. We don't have that much time. According to Chazal, the Mashiach is going to come before Shabbat. What does it mean before Shabbat? Obviously Hashem is not referring that only on Friday or only on Sunday until Friday can the Mashiach come. So Chazal explains to us that it's not a uh, it's not what he's talking about. He's talking about that in God's days. In God's days, every thousand even though he doesn't he's not obligated to time or not bound to time, in God's days, every thousand years that we have is considered one day for God. That's what it's considered. So right now in the year 5776 that we're in, it is considered Friday, 6.15 p.m. So some people think that, oh no, we have until the year 6,000. According to Chazal, it said that the world ends at 6,000. That's not true. The natural world ends, but the Mashiach comes before Shabbat. 6,000, the year 6,000 is already midnight Friday. Any of you who are ever around for a Friday that started at midnight? No, right? Friday, Shabbat doesn't start on, on midnight. Shabbat starts on the average somewhere around 6 o'clock. Maybe 7. The latest Shabbat during the year is maybe around 8 o'clock. Some are as early as 4. Some are as late as 8. But average is somewhere around 6. Every hour is 41 years, according to the calculations I did. So if we're around 6.15 right now at the year 57.76, at best, at best, we have 20 years. At best. In reality, I don't think we have that much. Not to scare people, not to get people to leave their jobs and, uh, and, and go become avrechim and go broke. But because you have to just start paying attention to what's going on around us and it's time for us to wake up a little bit. Because the reality of it is that everything that's happening right now adds up for it to happen now. World War III being underway, that's, what's, that's what the Gogo Magog is. Everyone hating Jews has always been around, but every generation or so there's a break for like 10, 20 years. Then it comes back. And then there's this Masechet Sota. 
I told you one time that I'm going to read this to you guys, and I think it's a good time to talk about it. Of what the Gemara says, this is one of the places that talks about what's going to happen at the end of days. And you guys tell me what you think of it. Because maybe I'm misunderstanding it. So this is what Chazal is saying, that these things are going to happen at the end of days. Okay? In the period which, the, which will precede the coming of Mashiach, meaning it will happen before the Mashiach, Chutzpah is get insolence, meaning uh, people are going to be very rude. Insolence will increase. Is the generation today very polite? No. Ve'yoker ya'amir, and costs will soar. Inflation. Is everything cheap? You go to, to the milk, is it 99 cents like it was a few years ago? No. Oh, it's very expensive, five, six dollars, right? Okay, so far, we're both on the same page, both Hashem. A gefenti ten priya v'ayayin b'yokel. The vine will yield its fruit, yet wine will be dear. The wine will become very, very expensive. But also Chazal has explained to us that people will engage in drinking parties. And so much wine is going to be used at these specific drinking parties and alcohol. It's going to be used at these drinking parties. You guys ever heard of such a thing? What's a drinking party? What's, how's it different than anything history? Because having a drinking party was a very rare event in the old days. People didn't have that kind of money to have drinking parties. Today it's an everyday event in clubs. Yeah, but they didn't do, they didn't do uh, celebrations? Celebrations, yes. But again, based on how we were and how we are, it's two completely different worlds. Today it's not a celebration. Today we just go to the club because that's what people do every day. Let's continue. Right. And the wine will be extra expensive, more expensive than what it should be. Okay, in the store, wine is $7. In the club, your drink, your same bottle that you bought for $7 no. is $550. Okay, the vodka bottle you bought at the alcohol mm -hmm. store, $12.99. In $12.99. In the club, if you go to a very, very fancy club, it could be $1,299. Okay, said them. Okay, said them. So okay, this one, we're one for four. We're uh, three for four. And the government will turn to hearsay, to heresy. Mm -hmm. And there will be no rebuke. This is two things. The world's dominant powers will spread non belief, atheists. Atheists. Governments in general are atheists, right? In Israel and here. And pretty much most everywhere else. But also it says here, there shall be no rebuke. The rabbis of the day, the people that are supposed to tell people the truth, for the most part, you're not going to find many people that are going to tell people the truth. It's a mitzvah from the Torah. To rebuke people to tell them the truth of the Torah. 99.9% of the people that are supposed to do it are not doing it today. Yeah. Because they're getting nice uh, sponsors. Whatever, they're, they're, everybody has their own reason, but nonetheless, the ocheach tochech et amitecha is a very rare thing to find. Mm -hmm. And even the ones that are doing it, you know how much hard time they give them? You're not allowed in my synagogue, you're not allowed in this synagogue, you're not allowed in this synagogue, websites against them. Um, all types of things. You have a Hanukkah party, gets million dollar donation. You have a guy that's uh, spreading words of Torah that are true, and mochiach anashim, and tells people to rebuke, barely gets $100 a day for his CDs. So, exactly over here. 